Hey guys, it's me, Manix, and bring guys some more feelings right, Ace of Turn Trials and Tribulations. In the last part, we started off episode number 3, Recipe for a Turnabout, found out that Maggie Bride had been falsely accused of murder, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue on with the investigation. So, we talked to her about the uh, full magazine we found in the last part, at Trebian, the restaurant, the French cafe, and uh, right now we have to go back to Trebian actually, and uh, we'll go up and go to the criminal affairs department much later. But for now, we'll go back to Trebian and uh, find out. Oh la la! Bonjour, welcome to La Trebian. Oh, hello. What happened? My shoot. What happened to my? She's frozen stiff. Oh my god! Ah! Oh no! Oh no, please kill me inside. What the hell is that? Bienvenue. <laughs> Welcome to my petite restaurant. Huh? Okay, uh, he is. Okay, I'm calling this now. He's the murderer. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now, ladies and gentlemen. Just just pointing that out there. I'm saying it now. I don't, I don't know who the murderer is, by the way. I'm just saying it. This guy is the murderer. 100%. I mean, look at that face. I mean, how many curls is on his face? Look at that. It's crazy. An aromatic bath oil. Melange. Offered in. Okay, he's using a lot of French words that I cannot say. You think I need... I need... What? We... Oui, we... Oui. Just add a couple of drops the mis, of, the, of the mixture to the bar water. And voila! It will smooth your body and your mind. This is simply fantastic. Really? And for La Monsieur, who me? Look at that face, like La Puppy rejected by life itself. <laughs> You're fatigued, no? For you, Monsieur, I recommend this oil of bergamot and maybe a hint of oui oui. I will add the peppermint and the clear. <laughs> I can't do this with a straight face! Ah, oh, I can't do this! Such an invigorating recipe will bring out your delicious beauty, Monsieur. My, my easy? Hello! If you will be seated, I will be bringing you the special memory of the day. Actually, we're not here to eat, we're lawyers. Ma bien sûr! I know this already, Monsieur. You are the Phoenix Wright, no? Okay. <laughs> uh, I did French at high school for like three years. Uh, I got a C in it. Uh, I don't really know much about French. To be honest, I kind of forgot most of it. But <laughs> this guy's this guy's hilarious. Uh, man. Uh, I don't want to. And I feel like he's putting on the act. Because a man like that cannot be one. Whatever. I'm John Armstrong. Enchanté. Yeah, he's the boss. I kind of guessed it. <sighs> Just looking at it. Okay, looking at this guy's body is. <sighs> I know tre tre. That means free, right? No, no. Terbian is Francais. In English, you would say very good. Oh, very good. <laughs> oui, exactement. La atmosphere is très bien, and la cuisine is très bien. This guy is putting English with his French, and it, I don't think that's how it works. My, uh, my cuisine is not for all. Some people say, do not appreciate la hutu, I don't know how you say it, hutu cuisine. I, I thought everyone liked hot cuisine. Since I've lost uh, lost Maggie, I do not have enough aids. Hands. I think that is what it's supposed to say. So, you're running this place on your own right now? We, oui, for a moment. No one has answered my advertisement. Oh, poor moi. Please don't rival me while you say that. Oh, God. I am the chef. I am the manager. Wait, isn't this place like a crime scene? I mean, there's police tape everywhere. I mean, how can you continue on with your business when you have a clear crime scene in it? Sorry about that. Uh, someone at the door just had to answer it. Uh, okay, I am also a trained ar ar aromatherapist. Aroming what? 
a practitioner of the Rome Fair P, the art of soothing the soul with delicate, with the delicate flora aromas. Delicate, the smell coming from that bottle earlier uh, was nothing but. Uh, what happened? So, could you tell me what you know about the incident? Beyond, it makes me sad to remember it. Yet I remember it so well. More than a month has passed since it happened. Yeah, I guess it's been a month, about a month since Maggie sent it to me. So it was the third of the of the last uh, last month, just after in one in the afternoon. A man who was in here for a coffee suddenly became ill because of the poison in his coffee. That is the truth as I know it. It was Maggie who took his drinking to him. I was in the kitchen. I heard the sound of someone collapsing. When I came out to see what had happened, he, he was slumped in his chair. Was he dead? Mon dieu, oui. He was dead. Maggie had passed that also. And this man who died, was he alone? Oui, monsieur. All alone. I know that Ma Maggie said Z was someone else, but there was someone else, I think that's what you're saying. I see. La police, they asked me many times. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you there? Are you sure there was, was not someone at the table, they said. Your place is always teased with Zer, and it annoys me. <laughs> but I am the only one. That old man said the same thing. Old man? What old man? Who is this old man? Um, so who is this old man that you mentioned? At the time of the of La Merda, there was another customer in here. What? Someone else saw it? Ma, oui. As usual, he came along that day. The time of La Merda, he, he, he was here. He, he, he's, he, I can't say it. It's like he, he, he doesn't say his H's, so it's so weird. He was here. He saw it too. But he said the same thing that there was no one. There was no one else at the table, victim's table. Oh my God! I don't want to read his text anymore. It is hard, Mademoiselle la lawyer. Eh, could. You, he, he could not prove this, no? About the lawyer, that was me, I suppose. Ma, bien sir! Wow, he's the first person who said it wasn't me. Don't kid, you kid yourself, Nick. <laughs> now, he, he's the one making this stuff up. Okay. There's still some stuff we need to know. He won't know about the thing, but we can show him a profile. Let's show him the profile of Maggie Bride. Maggie was a policewoman once. No, c'est pas? Yes, but she had to quit for um, reasons beyond her control. Oui, oui. She was a suspect in the murder investigation, no? Oh, you know about that? That is why I gave her the perfume of Le Happiness. Happiness perfume? Oui, blended with bergamot. Like... I have given it to you before. But she's been arrested again and found guilty this time. This is true. This is true. I guess, I guess I'll, that's what you're saying. A natural aroma of unhappiness <laughs> must have been very strong. Just admit it. Just admit it, your perfume doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's it's perfume. What? It doesn't affect anything outside of being smelling like. After something like that took place before my very eyes. Something like that. What's this guy talking about? Does this mean Maggie did have a motive? We gotta get the ours. Okay. So, does Maggie have a motive? That's the question now. When Maggie took... Oh, I forgot I was talking to him. I was talking... Oh, man. I gave my voice confused. When Maggie took the coffee over to the victim, did something, anything happen? Wee oui, wee. Oui. 
I, I suppose you could say so. So what happened? No, it was, uh, it was nothing. Look, Maggie doesn't say she didn't even know the guy. Says she doesn't even know the guy. But she's still been indic in indicted for murder. Is that how you say it? Uh, the prosecution must have come up with some sort of kind of motive. We, oui, it is true. If there's anything at all between Maggie and the victim, could it be relevant? Could be relevant, sorry, I've said that the wrong way. So, pl so please, tell us what you know. Uh oh, it's a Psylocke, and we got three of them. Psylocke? No way, what are we gonna do now, Nick? We'll just have to remove. What the? What's wrong? The Makatama, it's gone! Huh? I had it in my pocket, but it's vanished into thin air. What? But I can see the Psylocke. Maybe that means the Makatama is nearby. Um, Mr. Armstrong, could I just confirm something with you again? The table where the victim was sitting. Was anyone else sitting there? That is the question you will have to ask him yourselves. Him. The old man spends all of his time dancing the park. The park? Oh, a park. What park is that? Behind the restaurant. It's called Vitamin Square. Thank you. Je vous en prie, my dear. Let's go check out this Vitamin Square. Let's go do that right now. What happened to the Magatama? Is it not in a... It isn't there. Okay. Okay, whatever. Anyway, let's keep moving. Vitamin Square. Look at all of that. Everything, every, all the rides, all like the slides and the kitty, and the kitty rides are made out of <laughs> fruit. I guess that's why they call it Vitamin Square. <laughs> Isn't that old man Mr. Armstrong was talking about? That grouchy looking grandpa? He's throwing seeds at the prisons. Maya, he's not throwing seeds at them. He's throwing seeds. He's not throwing seeds for them. He's throwing seeds at them. Oh, this guy's the old man. Damn, look at that nose. That nose is huge. Hey, old man. How you doing? Um, excuse me. Would you mind if I had a word with you? Yes. I just wanted to ask a couple questions. What's the matter with you? Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> so you don't like my seeds, uh, air pigeons? He's really chucking those seeds at them. That's got to hurt. Go on, eat this! Man, that noise is huge. It is almost bulbous looking. It's like it's like you got a an effect a a, a an infection on his nose and it's just made it just gigantic I don't know I don't know any Maggie Bry yes you do Maggie the waitress at her beyond yeah it's a disgrace I tell you another disgrace an a disgrace an innocent young girl revealing herself like that revealing you mean a uniform the youth today they don't have any shame no shame I tell you not one ounce Whatever happened to the old Bushido values of Japan, like honor and modesty? What about me? I'm not wearing anything revealing. I wish you would. <laughs> Wait, that's wrong actually. I think Maya's only 16. So that would be a bit weird. Talk about hating a girl where it hurts. What did he say? He said something about... I missed it. Bushido, what about me? I'm not wearing anything revealing. You? Your problem is your any lack of any sense of grace. Okay, that that wasn't that funny. I thought, you, I thought he said something funny there. That's not funny. That's just rude. Um, that's miserable excuse for a restaurant. That garbage they serve in there. There's not food. Where's the sushi? The tempura? The rice? If you don't like it, why'd you go there? <laughs> where do you think? Where do you think we are, boy? In Paris? I want real food, not those snooty snacks. Are we in Las? Are we in Los Angeles? Isn't that always pretending to be? Or maybe they changed it for the for the game. Cause isn't it like I swear like the Phoenix Wright games? They're supposed to be in Los Angeles, 
but they actually set the pan, so it kind of makes this weird. They're practically naked! It's a disgrace, isn't it? Well, it not it? Oh, come on, mate. It's not that much. Ha, it's a mystery. It's a miserable excuse for a restaurant. That place is miserable. Send another place. It must be a regular. Yeah, he goes there. I think. What's his name? Armstrong said it uh, a couple times. That it, no, he said it once that this guy is a regular. He comes in a uh, regular time. So if he he says he doesn't like it, he actually does like it. It's just if you dislike it so much, why do you keep going there, sir? There, are you. there you are, you filthy peasants. You want food? Ha! Take that. He must be hiding something. Yeah, he is. Oh, wait. I don't exactly have a Magatama right now, huh? Remember, Nate, that Magatama is only alone. Alone. You better find it on that or else. If Pearls ever gets wind of this, I'm going to, going to be in world pain. Okay. So. Let's have a look around. Um, oh yeah, there's this magazine here. Ooh, there's a magazine here. There's a magazine full of job listings. You disgusting rogue picking up someone else's fruit away. Threw away? Did you throw this away? Are you looking for a job? <laughs> That's none of your business. Sorry, I guess I'll just take that magazine with me then. I don't want anyone else having it. Give it back. Too bad. Now that you want to give it up so bad, I don't want to give it up. Hey, that's mine. You just said it wasn't yours. Dick. Anyway, uh. Anything else? This place is so fruity. That's not a bad thing. Besides, I love apples. They are among my favorites. I like green apples. Uh, green apples are my favorite favorite types of apples. So I'm um, like they, they they taste nicer. They have more of a distinct flavor outside of red apples, which feel a bit better sometimes. And you know, the longer you have them, the, they're not very nice. Oranges are alright. Like, I like orange juice, but. To an extent, they're not, it's not my favorite thing. Uh, Sandcastle! Uh, that, that thing looks like one of the Pokemon in the next, in the new Pokemon game. I think Sandcast? I think that's what it's called. Uh, Sandcastle Pokemon. I can't believe they made a Sandcastle Pokemon. It's, it's a, it's a ghost and ground type. And it, like, what is it? If you step on it, if, no, if you touch this handle on the top of his head, it will like possess you and make you get more sand for it uh and apparently like it, it, it traps pokemon and eats their souls and drains their life force or something like that yeah pokemon is really fucking dark <laughs> it is really dark it is almost so dark that it, it, it's, it's full of dark en entries in the series anyway you said earlier that he put out a, a job listing that no one else had actually. Uh, what? No, it was just. Let me see. Your style is a uh, different. Put different, but you have a good face. Different. Felicitation. That's what he's saying. <laughs> you have passed. I'll have you. Bian, come with me. I will teach you everything you need to know. Nick, help! Bye, man. <laughs> Maybe I should do both. Okay, so that's it for that. Maya is uh, now going to be a maid, which is nice. She has a job. She can finally help the Phoenix with the, the bills for once. Instead of smooching off him. Looks like they have Maggie in questioning. I guess they're pretty much asking anything. I'll come back if there's anything else. Okay, so there's nothing else to do. Uh, guess we have to go to the criminal defense department then. Well, pal, have you found the evidence yet? The one that you're gonna you're gonna find her innocent? 
Um, no, not yet. We've only just started our investigation. Well, whatever you need, know that I'll give you dirt on it. I'm pulling off all my other case, uh, other cases for now, pal. I'm just really fired find up about this. Oh yeah, one more thing. The retrial's been approved. Court's sitting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And Mr. Guttle gonna be the prosecutor. Why couldn't it be the the other guy we saw at the start, the last part, the the guy who's always the tutorial, <laughs> the guy the the prosecutor who's always the tutorial. He's a lot easier. I mean he. But Mr. Godo, Mr. Godo and his coffee drinking assets is gonna kill us. But anyway, um, I'll make sure you get locked, locked out for, for it. Got it? What? What? Dude, it's not even our fault. What the hell, mate? What do you mean? Whatever. Anyway, uh, let's talk to him about Maggie Bride. So the guilty party was Maggie Bride, huh? Back when she was on the police force. You are a mentor when you. Oh, that's why he cares so much. Yeah, I kept a close eye on it. I mean, not too close, you know. That's that's why he. That's why he cares so much about this case, and that's why he's so fired up because he wants to help her because he used to be friends with her. It was. I was just her. I was just her. It wasn't anything like. Look, sure, I was. I was her boss when she was doing her training. But that was it. Nothing happened. Gumshoe was sweating up a storm over nothing. Ah, so that's it. Oh, big old Gumshoe has a little old crush on Maggie. That's the other thing I was thinking about. I, I don't like her or anything. <laughs> oh, man. Gumshoe is actually a Sundere. Who would have thought? No. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta remember that as a title to this part. Gossip with my my about this later. <laughs> Look, pal, don't tell anyone, okay? You gotta keep it a secret, got it? Sh sure. <laughs> and would you and would you mind not guessing what I'm thinking about all the time? Hey, tell. Hey, hey, tell your face, pal. Wait, tell your face, pal. Not not me. You'd, you'd have to be blind not to see what's in your mind. So I was wondering, could you fill me in on the victim? He has a scouter! Oh my god! Is... I was wondering that! I was wondering that! This guy has a scouter! Oh my god, he's actually saying! We, we, we are... We are... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? We are... In charge of case where a Saiyan has been killed, a Saiyan murder. Wait, how do you kill a Saiyan? Like, I, Frieza did it. We, I know who did it. It was Frieza who did it. Okay, now we know who did it. That's it. It's over. It's over now. We did it. Or whatever. <laughs> anyway, that's obviously like a a reference to Dragon Ball Z, that scouter he has on his eye, because I saw it in the photo that we've seen before with uh, when they're talking about how, how the victim was sitting at the table and uh, how he was next to some other guy with spiky hair, uh, like around his eye he had something there but I didn't know what it was, you know, I, I didn't want to jump to conclusions, so that's why I was like, eh, must be nothing. The motive was still somehow established in a trial. You're kidding. What was supposed to be a motive? Sorry, pal. I'm really busy. Busy. I haven't got time to scroll through these papers. Look into yourself, okay? What could this motive have been? This isn't really a proper investigation. I'm kind of working on it by myself. By myself. Oh, that's right. The judge already ruled on the case, and all the evidence is in already. The only problem is with Maggie's testimony. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good for us. Look, pal, I've got a mountain of papers on this case to look over before tomorrow. So, I'm just gonna say this. Maggie Bry is no liar. She's... she's... Okay, she's a bit out there and a bit off base sometimes. But she's a good cop. That's not exactly a compliment, you know? <laughs> so, what do you think really happened? And just how contradictory is her testimony? I feel like maybe it was because 
like they saw two people at the table, but then everybody saying that there was only one person at the table. That's what they're pointing at right now. But that's what I don't get. If my isn't lying and there's no one at there was no one else at the table, then why is everyone else saying there was someone at the table? There was no one. No. I'm getting confused. If Maggie isn't lying and she says that there was no one else at the table, there was someone else at the table, sorry, and but everyone else is saying that was, there was no one else at the table, then what the hell happened that would make everyone else just forget that the, that someone was sitting? There was a CD on the table, she said that. But our guys turned that place upside down. There was no CD. Not on the table, not every, any, anywhere in the restaurant, pal. But didn't Maggie say that the victim was wearing an earpiece too? Yeah, but that was that was for the portable radio in the hoodie. In the, in the front of pocket of his hoodie. A radio? So you didn't have a CD player? You got it. You're phony. You're phony. Never explain that condition at all. I want to think of it. The owner of Trebian didn't mention that CD either. I don't know why, but I get the feeling that Mr. Armstrong's got something to hide. Yeah, I think he's the killer, but that's just me. Anyway. Uh, let's show him the sports paper, and then we'll show him the uh, John's Armstrong, see, see if he can talk, talk to us about him. Because uh, Phoenix mentioned it. Uh, it dates the same day as the murder. You may be onto something here. I take a look at this. See this writing here? MC Bomber. Hey, what is it? I've heard that name of someone before. Yeah, MC Bomber. Yeah, wow, he actually <laughs> seems to be thinking for once. Ah, it's no good. I can't remember. And he goes back to being the gumshoe we all know and love. Hey pal, I'm, g I'm gonna borrow this paper for a bit, okay? I wanna get our handwritten analysis done on the scribble. Handwritten, huh? It's, it'd be good to know more about that in any case. Thanks, pal. I bet this turned out to, to be an interesting clue. We give him the uh, sports paper. Okay, next up. Tell us about John Arthur. He's 39, apparently. You know what? That chef said to me, Oh la la, your body's full of the, like, toxins. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. When people say your body's full of the to toxins, right? What toxins? There are no toxins. If, you are, if there were any toxins in your body, you would die. Just toxins are, are poisonous. <laughs> you know? Whatever, man. Yeah, you know, there's something about that lady. I mean, guy. Yeah, that's that's what weirds me out about him. Like, I, I'm not saying this is nothing against transgender people. If you're transgender and you feel comfortable with yourself, that is fine. I'm not trying to say anything about you. But this guy, he's probably he's probably weird. Like, properly weird. Like, he speaks French and he mixes his French with his English. It's hard to say, and it's Oh man, his physical appearance is about as charming as oh god, a, a, a lizard. No, a pig. There you go. It's like a pig, like a boar. <laughs> More like a boar. A boar with really frilly hair. That guy's. This is gonna be making fun out of him so much. Oh man, this is gonna turn into a roast. Uh, I don't want it to turn into a roast of Armstrong, but. This guy's seriously hiding something. It's kind of obvious. Look, how about this? You go to Trebian and investigate the place yourself. And if you find anything suspicious about the guy, you report back to me, okay? Um, don't suppose I get a choice in this, huh? I guess I better get find out more about the chef and Trebian then report back to Gongri. Okay, to Trebian. Let's do that. I have a feeling that. How do you get there? I think we have to go to the detention center and then go to the uh yeah. Totally beyond. I have a, I have a feeling that this guy has something that that belongs to us. The scent of flowers 
show is strong. It's almost making me dizzy. Who's this girl? Who is that? <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, ah, this is my. Uh, what the hell is she wearing? <laughs> oh god. It's, I don't know. Maybe you should quit being a spirit medium. Maybe, be, but it's a bit boring being a waitress. I mean, you're my first ever customer. Then who was that woman I just saw? Maybe she, maybe she was a ghost. Ooh, she felt like one. <laughs> she looked like one. I mean, her dark clothing. I thought she would be a ghost. I'm kind of hungry, actually. Let's talk to my. I don't know whether or not her outfit is cute or just straight up weird. Mm, I don't know. I never knew, knew there was there was so much a waitress could do. Take take people's orders, bring them food, make coffee, work the cash register. Of course, we need a customer before we can do any of that. Yeah, it's a look insane restaurant. It's a shame people don't come. Don't forget about the ultra cute waitress. Check out my give me a tip smile. I think I think I figured something out. And I don't know whether or not. Yeah, I, f I think that's how it goes. Yeah. When that just remember the scent thing, that how strong the scent of this place is because it might come <laughs> come into play later on in a trial. I want to carry. Car I want to try carrying plates and working the cash register. How about cleaning the toilets? That should give me busy. Yeah, right. Maybe later. Um, about the lunch. Oh, fine, Trace. Sir. No, I. Uh... Kitchen, a lunch special, please. With all the extras, drinks, son. Dude, I have to. <laughs> I have to pay for that. <laughs> Might as well get into this. So how much is the lunch? Twenty dollars, huh? But with the drink side, it's forty-five dollars. Hey, wait a second, Maya. Sorry to keep you waiting. So wow, that was quick. <sighs> Whoa! And this inspired by lo by lobster and abalone fr fricassee with a balance. How is he able to say all this stuff? Bon appetit. Um, thanks. Come on, Nick. Hurry up and try it already. Lobster, huh? All right, down the hatchet goes. Are you hungry, Maya? I'm starving. Here, it's yours. Really? Remember, Maya, my wallet doesn't print money, so you better polish off that plate. <gasps> I just remembered I've got to clean the toilet. What? You can't be that. You clean the toilets. Lunch special. She was eating a bit of it. How does that guy manage to make good food taste so bad? Oh, that's why it, that's why it doesn't get that much uh, stuff in it. Because how bad all the food tastes. The kitchen, huh? Not a bad idea. Um, now what was it that Maggie said again? In the kitchen, you'll get to see all the chef's great secrets. In the kitchen? Hmm, that sounds tasty. Hey, wait up, Maya. What is it? I'm pretty busy right now. Where are you going to show me around? Tisk. There's goes. There goes my find. Find some cool clue and show it off in your face. I better come back to church and kiss them myself. And we're going to go to the kitchen in the next part, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and please subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later for some more. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. Peace!